please give a hand to our first comedian, Michael Robinall. Thank you, everybody. Uh, how's everybody's day going? Good. Um, let me tell you how my day is going. I uh, woke up today, and I looked down, and uh, I saw my penis, and it did not look like it was my penis. It looked like it was someone else's penis in place of where mine should be. Now, I'm normally pretty good about you know, recognizing my own penis, especially when it's attached to me. If you show me a lineup, I probably won't be able to pick one out. But uh, it did not <laughs> look like it was mine. Um, so that's how, that's how every day should start, is looking down and realizing, oh, that is mine. Uh, <laughs> even though it doesn't look like it. Uh, so does anyone ever think like, oh, hey, oh, that dude's so crazy. That dude's weird. Oh, he must be like a serial killer. He's going to kill me. Does anyone ever make that joke? I want to know, does anyone make that joke about like serial killers that actually were serial killers? Like, oh, that Ted Bundy character. Oh, my God. He just ordered a sub with mustard on it. Like, he must be a serial killer. And then he was. Like, <laughs> he actually did, he d has murdered people. Oh, that guy's so weird. He probably kills people. And he did. And has for th 12 years. Um, it is Chrissy's birthday. Uh, uh, I, I'm trying to think of this one birthday story I have where uh, there's this kid that I went to grade school with and until eighth grade. And then we went to different high schools. But he goes to OU as well. And his birthday is three days before mine. And he didn't invite me to his birthday when we were like eight years old, but I invited him to mine. And apparently his birthday was great, but he said no to mine and my birthday was not as good as his. And that power struggle like still exists to this day. Like I'll see him on campus and like, I just know like, oh, you had a better birthday than me when we were eight years old. Like, and like <laughs> he won't invite me to things. Uh, and I feel like if every time I invite him to, uh, him to my stuff, he'll just be like, why would I go to that when I already have wh all I need from my birthday, so to speak? Then I can't get anything from you because you had a shitty birthday because I didn't go. Um, yeah, that was, that was so funny. Uh, <laughs> that was a really funny joke. Um, I, <laughs> I was in Baker earlier today because I work here. I work at Front Room. Clap it up. Thank you. Uh, I, I work at front room, and I walked into the bathroom and uh, to go to the bathroom, and then th I was like, oh, hey, sorry about this one. This guy was walking out as I was walking in. I was like, oh, sorry about that. And I walked into one stall, and I was like, no, that smells horrible. I walked into another stall, and I was like, that looks horrible. And then the third stall had a, a baby station, like, propped open still, and it smelled like baby shit. And I was like, okay, well, that was... Goldie Locks and the Three Bears, like, of shit. And, uh, uh, but, like, not good. And so I walked out, and then I saw him, the guy, and I made eye contact with him, and he definitely was like, oh, he knows. <laughs> he knows that I just stank up that bathroom. And so I went to the downstairs bathroom, the floor below it, and I was walking to it, and I made eye contact with him, and he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> He definitely knows, and he definitely didn't go in there just because of me. And I, was, I felt really bad, because that's total, total shame for him. Um, but earlier today in Baker, there was a uh, post, uh, something about the post. Like, they won, they were giving out awards for journalism. And uh, uh, they gave a award for best journalism for the person that wrote the story about the Union Street fire. And it's like, well, the story basically wrote itself. I mean, there was a, there was a fire, and it was on Union Street. I mean, you got to think the person in their acceptance speech was like, well, I'd like to thank oxygen, um, <laughs> fuel, and uh, combustion just for just doing their job. Um, who else? I'd like to thank uh, man for creating fire, because I wouldn't have a story without that. Um, I'd like to thank, just a quick shout out to uh, Earth and wind, um, and uh, yeah, Union Street for being where it is, where the fire happened. Because um, without that, I really don't have a story. 
uh, to accept this award with. And uh, I think that's my time, so thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, please welcome back to the stage Chrissy. It's her birthday, by the way. Gonna uh, hand to Michael Robinall. Uh,